Republicans shrug off Trump 24 bid, the excitement's just not there. Donald Trump's lackluster campaign announcement was one thing. His real problem is fast becoming the collective shrug Republicans have given him in the week plus since. Far from freezing out potential competitors, Trump's announcement was followed by a raft of potential 2024 contenders, appearing at the Republican Jewish Coalition Conference in Las Vegas over the weekend, where at least one Republican who had previously said she would defer to Trump if he ran, former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, now said she is considering running in a, a serious way. A super PAC supporting Trump's chief rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, plans to begin airing TV ads in Iowa on Friday. And even the news that Elon Musk was lifting Trump's ban on Twitter wasn't breaking through. The morning after his account was reinstated, a development once viewed as a significant lift to Trump's candidacy, Fox News Sunday spent more time talking about the ticketing debacle surrounding Taylor Swift's upcoming tour. The people talking about Trump's campaign announcement, in my circles, it's almost like it didn't happen, said Bob van der Plaats, the evangelical leader in Iowa who is influential in primary politics in the first-in-the-nation caucus state, and who was a national co-chair of Senator Ted Cruz's campaign in 2016. That, uh, to me, is what is telling, where people believe we probably need to move forward, not look in the rearview mirror. Ever since he steamrolled through the 2016 presidential primary, and even after his defeat four years later, Trump had bent the GOP to his will, reshaping the party's infrastructure in Washington and the states to serve his interests, tearing down Republican dynasties and handpicking congressional and statewide nominees. Now, leading Republicans are no longer cowering before Trump, and for the first time since he rode down the escalator in 2015, many aren't listening to him at all. They are dodging questions about Trump's candidacy, or openly defying him by rallying around DeSantis. Even if the Florida governor is not yet, as Senator Cynthia Lummis of Wyoming declared, the leader of the Republican Party, 